Hey friends, Jennifer here with Moreau Family Farm. Thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel today. We have some very, very exciting news. And I've been mentioning this in the videos that we have an enclosure that we're building and a new animal that's coming to the farm. Well, today we were able to get that animal. It's taken them a couple of days to catch them. So we had to wait until they were all caught before we can bring them home. And we also, like I said, we were building them an enclosure. So now they're here. We have three of them. We have two males and a female. And I gotta help Antonio really quick get this one ready. Reverse. So, I'm sure you can tell by the tail feathers what we have here. We have two already acting crazy. Only the girl is acting crazy at the moment. But this is how you transport a peacock safely without them injuring themselves and without scaring them. What you do first is first you catch them. Get them in a smaller enclosure. Then once they're in a smaller enclosure, you get one of those big nets, right? Yeah. Big net. The the biggest net that you can find like a like a duck net or something like that or a giant uh yeah. I say duck net, but the big plastic net. Big fishing net. Yeah, fishing net. And you catch them calmly, safely, bring the net down to the ground. You want to what, grab Control their feet. The All the legs, you grab grab their feet and then cradle the body. Mm -hmm. Thing like the rooster. We have a video that we had posted before on how to handle a rooster properly. We are reverse engineering the way that you would catch them because we couldn't get that on video. There was just too much going on. So we're just going to show you how, how to do we, it in how, the opposite how we, way. How we wrap them. Yeah, how we wrap them. Um, but we do have a video on how to safely handle like a rooster a, you know we have fighting roosters although we don't fight them mm -hmm. um well mm -hmm. actually yeah we don't have any of the males anymore but anyways we do have a video on that um but so basically like he was saying you want to grab their feet make sure that their feet are secured duct tape, um, the legs. Duct tape their camera's not you can't really see but his legs are duct taped first. Okay, we're going to show you here. This is going to be backwards. This is backwards for sure. So the last thing you're going to do is put the pillowcase on the head. Use a pillowcase. Nice and loose. Pillowcase is very breathable. It's nice and loose. Is he not gorgeous? My gosh, let me... Isn't this guy just beautiful? He's the bigger of the two, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the father of the other male that's in there. And he's big, he's bold, he's beautiful, he's about three years old. And it's, sorry, I'm not trying to scare you. You're okay. It's all right. It's all right. I've pet him already, but he's getting antsy. He's ready to get out. So let us get him done. So, so I'm just going to rehash that with you really quick because we're doing this in the reverse. The very first thing is the feet. You wrap the feet. You can use duct tape. I think that's a little too sticky. We're using painter's tape. It's not as sticky. It comes off easier. It's not going to hurt them as much. The second thing you're, you're going to do is get a nice good sized towel. Get the towel around the wings. You might need a second person. Actually, there's no might. This is a two person job. You might be able to do it with one person, but you risk the opportunity of getting hurt and hurting the animal and also the animal can fly away. So. Two people is best. Get the wings wrapped. Then you're also gonna tape the wings. So we did it in three sections. This is the upper portion of the wing, obviously. That we did the middle. And tail and with then, the legs. Yeah, tail with the legs. As you Straight can see, back. the legs are wrapped in with that. And then the last thing you're gonna do is put the pillowcase. Again, the pillowcase is because it's breathable. Mm -hmm and it helps them with panic they won't panic as much it keeps them nice and calm so we're gonna get this guy undone and in there with the rest of them so he's completely unwrapped again he's got him by one the finger, feet one finger always through the legs yeah 
and then arms <laughs> around the wings. Yeah, I know I don't have him in a great position. Not great right now. His wing is kind of up, but he's a heavy boy. So this is our makeshift lock. I got it. Did he? Yeah, it's probably me. I've got pee on my leg. Oh, he did get you. Better you than me. Hopefully not on me. Alright. Are they not gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, you guys can help us come up with names for them. Even she is really pretty. She's the mom of the smaller one. You could see she is very vibrant in color. She is, she is, I think three years old, just like the the older male. It's just really, really pretty. Really pretty. Golly, they're so pretty. I am absolutely in love with these beautiful creatures. And we are going to get them settled in. I'm going to get them some food, water, and uh, let them know that we are nice and not here to hurt them. We had just gotten home, and it is about 6 o'clock. So Antonio went to go feed the rest of the animals because we did not get them fed before we left. Um... The people that we got the peacocks from were looking for a really good home for their peacocks. So we were blessed enough to get them. We are super excited about them. And um, they were able to get them into a nice size enclosure. Big enough for Antonio to catch them with the net. And again, the process was so smooth. It went so nicely. We were prepared. We knew that we wanted towels and something to cover their eyes. And, you know, I remember working at the vet's office. We always suggested for people who didn't have cat carriers to cover their cat's heads with pillowcases because they're breathable. And it helps to alleviate that tension, that, that fright, um, that anxiety for the animal. So I, you know, I mentioned a uh, pillowcase and it worked perfectly. And especially because they're such a big animal that it just, it went so smooth. So very smooth. I'm so very happy. So just for tonight, this is what we're doing. They're getting some um, chicken feed, bowl of water. We'll figure out something a little bit better in the future. But for now, they're all roosting for the night. Oh gosh, that's a little tight right there. Oh. Sorry, buddy. We might need to put another roost a little bit higher. Uh, but for tonight, I mean, it, the, the roost is pretty big. It should be big enough for all of them. But he's just going to have to figure out how to get his train in there. But, I mean, it's a good size. It's definitely not uh, short of space, that's for sure. All right. So, water and food is in there. We'll figure out, like I said, a better... Um, I want you guys to get an idea of how big this is. It looks a little small, but it's really not. Uh, it's a pretty decent size enclosure. Lady here. It's a really decent size enclosure. It's definitely big enough for the three of them. The third one just got up there. You see that? So he's fine. Um, it's, you know, their tails or their trains are very long. For those males, anyways. So for them to turn around, whether they're in the trees or whatever, sometimes they're going to get knocked around a little bit. Um, but that would happen even if they are in the trees with the leaves and the limbs and all that other stuff. So they're just going to have to, you know, get used to their new enclosure. This is going to be where they're going to be kept in and enclosed. They are going to be completely confined for at least the next month or two. It's, it is going to take some time for them to get used to us, for them to get used to this new enclosure, this new area, their new home. You don't want to let them out and just 
a week or two weeks. It's going to take some time. They need to earn our trust and they need to know that this is where they come back to every single night, that this is where they're going to sleep. Um, we are going to make some sort of an aviary. I prefer them to be completely confined um, without them being free ranged just because of predators. And even though they are a big bird and they were free ranged at their last home, oh gosh, the thought of losing them just scares me to death. So the previous owners were nice enough to give us this, um, this fencing material, like a, a really good thick metal fencing material, chain link fence material. Uh, we plan on using that for some of the run, but what I really want to do is get some of that aviary netting and somewhere, somewhere here in the center, I would like to put a post and do like a really nice um, canopied, like circus tent-ish type form of an aviary. And I would like to put um some golden pheasants in here because those are my absolute besides peacocks being my number one a golden pheasant would totally just make things amazing like that would be the biggest thing that and a cockatoo but i don't think you should put um peacocks cockatoos and golden pheasants together probably wouldn't be a good mix I'd have to do some research on that. The cockatoo uh, the house. Yeah, the co cockatoo would be closer to the house, and that's if I even get a cockatoo. Um, Alexia would love one. Oh, they're so sweet. I would really enjoy a cockatoo. I've always wanted a cockatoo. Um, let me turn you so you can see. It doesn't look that big from here, but it's actually it's a really decent size. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite part about the peacock? Uh, they're just really, really pretty. Yeah. They're really pretty. Yeah. They're yeah. like this wonderful, just electric blue. In Port St. Lucie, Florida, where we are from, there's a city right in the same county, St. Lucie County, Fort Pierce, Florida. They have a bunch of wild peacocks down. Um, I want to say it's down like Oleander. No. Maybe Midway. Oh shoot, my hose fell out. Midway Road. Um, Orange Avenue. Somewhere, I don't remember exactly which main road it's off, but there's a road and there's just so many. Sorry, the hose fell out of the water for the, um, for the cows. So, oh well, now there's a, a mess, but that happens. Anyways, like I was saying, there's just a whole bunch of wild peacocks and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Everybody knows about it. Zion seeing the peacocks for the first time. He did not come with us to pick them up. So he's getting a chance to, to really see them. It's dark, sun is setting. Lady still has not had any puppies, which she should have, but she hasn't. And last night we had the wonderful surprise of Hazel's uh, two little dolings that were born. Um, what do you think, Zion? Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. They're really awesome, aren't they? Yeah, they're pretty. They're really pretty. Do you think they're comfortable enough in there? Why, yeah. You think it's big enough for them? Yeah, right? Yeah. I want one of their feathers. Not yet. You'll have to wait until fall. So, they're just going to have to get acclimated. I would love to be able to put some solar lights out here so we can come out and check on them. And, um, you know, that would be really cool just to have some lighting to come out here. I was talking to Alexia. I was telling her that um, it would be really awesome to, once the aviary area gets done, which it's going to be a while for that, obviously, you guys know um, how much work we have to do inside the house and stuff but in the future it would be really awesome to do an amazing aviary out here and then have like really nice pavers that would come from the gate 
um, with like nice little botanical areas. Um, maybe put some fruits and vegetables out here for them to be able to nibble on um, instead of like coming to areas that we don't want them to go. If we made their own little like small little orchard that would come back every year and maybe plant um, just a... All right. Calm down, baby girl. Calm down, feisty pants. I just want to make sure the door was locked completely. Come on, lady. Lady, come. Um, but yeah, to just like put some, maybe some blueberry bushes out here so they'll snack on the blueberry bushes. And then, uh, you know, during the spring and summer, it's not going to be this year. Unfortunately, I just don't have time for that. There's just too much stuff going. But definitely next year, maybe start working on some of this really cool pathways. Put some um, banana trees out here. Make it look nice and tropical. Maybe some um, elephant ears if those aren't toxic or anything like that. But just make it really some Croatias. Oh, those really pretty um, purpley tropical looking plants just some cool stuff you know my brain is just thinking about that and how cool it would be if we could just make it look really tropical and beautiful so um yeah i'm looking forward to that that's gonna be amazing i'm gonna have to do a lot of research and a lot of planning but futuristically thinking that's where my mind is going with that and again it's not going to be anytime soon but somewhere in the future, that's what it's going to be. And usually when I set my mind to something like that, um, I make it happen. Because our house in Florida was really tropical. We had a lot of um, just beautiful tropical plants in the back of our yard with a nice little pond with a water feature and stuff. So it was really pretty. And we we are south enough, I believe, that we can do stuff like that. The banana trees will die during winter, but they'll come back. And we may not get fruit from them, but it will look really pretty um, and tropical. How's that sunset? Can you guys... I don't know if you can see how pretty the sunset is. Can you see how orange it is? Let me see if I... You can kind of see how orange it is. But anyways, that is going to wrap things up for tonight. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you're looking forward to seeing these beautiful birds on our property and get more, um, you know, visuals of them and their beauty. And we are so looking forward to sharing them with you. I cannot wait tomorrow during the day to see them in their full, beautiful, vibrant colors and I know you guys are looking forward to it too because if I am, I know you are. But um, that's it. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, you guys be blessed. We'll see you then. Bye, guys.